Can you really taste the love? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Home cooked meals can be missing ingredients, over seasoned, and even burnt to a crisp, but they can still outdo some of the finest plates in the world because of one special and not so secret ingredient. Love, oh. love, love. Oh, nice. What dish does your mama make better than anybody, as an illustration of my point? Tortilla stacks. Tortilla stacks. Yeah, I mean, she's just a white lady from Georgia, but she puts that love into each tortilla like you would not believe. Okay. And so, you can tell, I think you can taste it. Well, science agrees that your mom makes the best tortilla stacks, uh, but science would also argue that it's due to you knowing that it was made with love and care rather than the love and care actually raising the flavor profile. Okay. So what if we were to taste the love blindly? Could we still taste the difference? It's time for, I think I taste a special something in this plate. Is it actually love or monosodium glutamate? According to a 2012 study by the University of Maryland, if you perceive there to be benevolent intentions behind your food, then it betters your physical experience of eating it. So here's how we're gonna test that thesis today. We're gonna see if loving energy can be transferred from one person to another, very mm -hmm. scientific. Each round, we're gonna be presented with two identical dishes made with the same ingredients, same recipe. The only difference is that one will have been prepared by our mythical kitcheneers with some good old fashioned love, and I'm interested in what that's gonna look like. <laughs> yeah. And the other is gonna be, well, quite the opposite of love. It, we're gonna taste each dish and plant our flag. Speaking of plant, it, it reminds me of the experiment where you know, they talk nasty to plants, yeah. and then they play classical music. I don't know what they did with plants. They did a lot of stuff with plants. Mostly middle schoolers. Some of them that. would grow more than others. But uh, we're gonna taste the dishes and plant our flags behind yes. the one we think was made with love, so that in the end, we'll see what findings our experiment generates. Boop -boop. All right, before we taste each of these dishes, we're actually gonna get to see how it was prepared by the mythical kitcheneers. And uh, like for this first one, we got V and Josh both making chicken and dumplings. Okay. One of them's gonna do it with love and the other one with the opposite. I, let's see. Oh, Celery, you are looking so beautiful today. You must be on your skincare. If it wasn't for the movie Holes, no one would even care about you, Onion. Oh, Mr. Onion, see, you know, you are nice and thick like an IG model. I got a friend, okay? Cause there ain't no party like a chicken party. You suck, you suck, you suck. I brought you something to drink. And just a couple of sprinkles of black pepper. Yeah, doesn't that feel nice? You suck! And you know what? There is nothing wrong with that. Don't let any man. You're not even pretty, you're just rich. Tell you otherwise. You guys will be so ready for Rhett and Link, okay? You deserve to be turned into poop by Rhett and Link. Mommy misses you. And Rhett's got a long colon based on his height. You're gonna be there for a while. I call him Long Colon McLaughlin. <laughs> so the interesting thing is that, that was pretty the, cute. the love okay. and the hate was generated directly at the ingredients, not towards us. You know? Right. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, I mean, the love went in. It was the, made into, with love and hate. Uh, man, first of all, I love chicken and dumplings. I don't believe in this. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you know my bias right up front. I don't believe in this, but I'm gonna okay. try to be completely open to if there's some sort of energetic quality that this was that transferred and didn't get cooked out when they heated it up. Dink it. Well, I'm gonna tell you that's good. <laughs> that is a good bowl of chicken and dumplings. I mean, was it made with love? If it, if anything is a transferal via food of love, it's chicken and dumplings. This is the, this is ultimate comfort food. This is so comforting, and and I'm I think I'm feeling it. Like I don't think it sucks. So you think that this one's gonna taste bad? I don't think it thinks it sucks. Okay. I'm, but hold on, no, wipe it off, man. Wipe or the get love. Get a new one. Wipe the love or wipe the hate off. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, we can't cross this contaminate. Is, this is science. There's this spoon has been energized. I should probably even use a different one, but I think I got it off. Yeah, it is absolutely identical. That's called a control. Okay. I got a little more celery in that bite. I'm not gonna let that sway me too much. I mean, does There is a different energetic quality, but it might just be because it's the second bite. 
there's naturally a, a, a different energy to the second bite of something. Yeah, that's a good point. How do we take that into account? Uh, I'm just going on instinct, man. I mean, V's, V really established, three, it's a three, two, one. It's a three, two, one, sorry. It really set up her dumplings to be ready for us. So which one felt like it was ready to go into my mouth more? And which one thinks that it sucks? All right. Three. I'm ready. Two, one. Made with love. Yeah, again. Maybe I, it's a first taste thing, but yeah, it's it, there was a di qualitative lack of difference. celery in the bite, but it made me. I felt I felt different. It tasted the same. I felt different. The chicken and dumplings made with love is on Link's side. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. okay, all right. So may, maybe we like Hate. like it playing hard to get. I do like to be mistreated sometimes. <laughs> Now, uh, it's my understanding that Josh and Trevor have both baked us apple pies. You want some sugar dough? I mean, work, but okay. I don't wanna be here. You don't wanna be here. Oven doesn't wanna be here. Oh yeah, pie dough, you like the way I massage that butter into you? If all of the apples and all of the world disappeared off the face of the earth tomorrow, no one would even notice. Do you mind if I get you into something a little bit more comfortable? <laughs> I can't wait till you're dripping with butter and sugar. Mm. Mm. We're getting there, we're, we're getting there. Oh yeah, you like that? Ah. Yeah, do you want me to do it a little faster? Now I'm ready to lay you down and fill you up. Can't wait for Rhett and Link to taste how juicy and wet and delicious you are. All right, you're Ed and Link's problem now. Peace. I don't know if Trevor understood the assignment. Uh, and I but, don't know if I want to taste it. <laughs> yeah, how, how much of himself did he put into yeah, it? Yeah, right, yeah, that's the real question. Uh, I feel dirty. Yeah. Let's, let's start over let's here, start here so that at least we're changing that up. So we'll like this one more first. <laughs> I gotta get a little bit of that crust. Oh, sorry, I'm... I'm Messing it up for you here. Don't apologize. Don't bring negativity. Oh, I I love. Don't 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 I love, do a love. Block. I love pie. Man, I mean that that was more than love. That felt like lust. You know, there's a there's a line. Uh huh. It's good. It's good, but I'm just trying to be you know a scientist. I'm trying to act like I'm eating in a lab, not like I'm eating at a dinner or at like a brothel. <laughs> right. Yeah. Some I'm not of, around. Some of my best meals <laughs> have been at the the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Did, did I say that out loud? All right. People need to buy a ticket for this stuff. So I'm gonna go in over here. I'm getting the same type of bite, which had a little bit of this. Yeah, I'm doing I'm trying a little to bit of the that. same situation here. Hmm. In one of these, I'm definitely tasting the ambivalence, I'm feeling like. And I thought that it would translate into the cut of the apple, the detailing, but I'm actually like not seeing- Like you would see more care in I'm, the ingredients? I would see more care in the presentation. Like the visual. Yes, but I'm not seeing that. So we're going totally with the intangible here. Yeah, which I think is the cor correct scientific way to do it. I felt a little perkiness, for lack of a better word, Oh, it's a great word. I think there was a little perkiness to one of these. I'm a not three. lying. I felt a little down a two. by one of these. A one. See, we oh, disagree. Oh, this is perky. This one, th that one brought me down a little bit. Oh, okay. I just felt a little sad. And I maybe I'm still in the second bite world. So, so this one's up for grabs. The apple pie made with a whole lot of love is on. Link side. Oh, See? Okay, you tasted a little bit of the love. And and so maybe I'm more of a love taster than you are because the previous round we both agreed and were wrong. Now we're we're not really concluding anything positively about love because well, we're not on the same page. The only thing that's been conclusive so far is that I like to be punished. We teamed up with our friends at Cloak and created a collection of ultra limited edition apparel and accessories that we're calling Cloak is Mythical and we merged both of our worlds together and Woo. from that came face melting psychedelic graphics including a cockatrice 
and a Pegasus on, on an assortment of stuff. Tell them about the other crap. There's tees, good there's crap. There's hoodies, there's joggers, there's hats, there's posters, there's a freaking beanbag chair, there's actual cloaks, there's a jean jacket, and more. It's gonna all sell out very quickly, so hurry over to cloakbrand.com and grab it <laughs> before it's all gone. Thank you, Michaela. Uh, very cool vibe, very comforting, yeah. and uh, nice to wear. Kind of like lasagna does on the inside of your body. Nice transition. Yeah, there it is. Uh, speaking of lasagna, Nicole and V made some. You guys are gonna get chopped up a little bit, but I promise it's for a really good cause, okay? okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't complain, cause you know, it doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. Mr. Onion, you basically look like my ex. <gasps> Are you okay? You're okay, okay, good. Okay, it might get a little sizzly, but don't worry. I hate you, but Rhett and Link are gonna hate you too. It's not too hot in there, is it? Okay, good. You don't deserve to be in this lasagna. Don't think of this as shredding. Think of this as diversifying yourself. You just want to be pizza so bad, don't you? You're gonna be the most friendly lasagna Rhett and Link have ever tasted in their lives. You're making me want to be lactose intolerant. But guess what? I already am. You guys are gonna be so delicious. <laughs> Rhett and Link are gonna absolutely love you. Let's go. <sighs> wow, Nicole is so maternal. Yeah, yeah and uh, apparently these got some issues with her ex. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out. You mean, you mean the give, onion she don't, dated? Don't give her a knife. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's start over here. Lasagna, man. I mean, lasagna is just good. You know? It's always good, right? Unless unless it's got a chip on its shoulder. But here's the, the thing oh, this is, that I'm doing. This is crunchy on top. I'm this just is, going with the one that I think. So, what's wrong with this fork? This won't go through anything. <laughs> the top's a little crispy. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. The, it, it's it's forming a hard outer layer, which may be a form of protection. Which may be? Yeah, it might be like how it's dealt with trauma, you know? Forming a, a shell. It tastes good, but I'm trying to get the energetic quality to it. I'm trying to connect with it. At this point, I'm not evaluating whether it's love or hate because I've connected with hate twice. I'm just evaluating the fact that I'm only chewing a burnt corner of it. I need to give it a good chance by getting away from that one spot. Well, that's a little better. <laughs> well, maybe it's just bad lasagna. Link, Link loves it. So you know that one's not doing anything for me. This one. Uh, yeah, we got, yeah. Uh, it's, it's I'm just, having to break out the knife. It's just really crunchy on top, and that's, that's not a bad thing until it becomes a bad thing. Now I'm gonna put you in my mouth and I'm gonna chew you no, up. No, you don't give it, it don't give it love now. This is your, oh yeah, that's Yeah, fine. yeah, you'll screw up the experiment. Hmm, let's, let's hope we get on the same page here. Well, but we can have different intuitions about things. You taste love and I taste hate and that's scientific. I also guess that true science doesn't, you don't hope for any result. Right. You just go with it honestly. You just put on your lab coat, put on your blindfold, Go in there and you don't even, you, I'm not here to make friends. That's what all scientists say. All people who are on The Bachelor and all scientists in labs. I'm not here to make friends. Yeah, I'm here to get laid in a hot tub. A three, two, one. This is a toss up for me. I didn't like either one of them. I like this one significantly more. Huh. The lasagna made with love is on red side. Oh dang it, I'm not consistent. I know, and so, the the introduction of randomity yeah. is is uh, diminishing any sort of uh, conclusion. Are you saying we should get a hot tub at our lab? Okay, and finally, to eliminate any sort of like emotional energetic noise, we just want to go with the simplest possible dish to receive the love or the hate of PB and J. Oh, bread, you're gonna do amazing things in life, I just know it. You are destined to be the best peanut butter and jelly in the world! Now we're gonna do a little bit of strawberry preserves. I know it's your favorite, some people like grape. Some people like raspberry. We're gonna do strawberry. That's just perfect. And now we're gonna go with a diagonal cut, cause that's the most lovely cut there is. 
Ready for Rhett and Link? I love you. Here you go, Rhett and Link! <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of Trevor got into that sandwich. A lot of heavy breathing Just like, right over the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. What we've learned about the way things happen in the past couple of years, yeah, that some of Trevor definitely got into one of these sandwiches. I mean, the way that he made it, with all the huffing and puffing and shaking, I de I have to think that translates into the I'm not perceived quality of it. I'm not looking at it. Because but yeah, of that. we should we should. That's kind of cheating. We don't want to. I'm do not it. looking at it. All I don't. Right. If one's got stuff spilling out of it, I don't want to know. I don't even know what side we're starting on. You be the dutch. <laughs> you be the dutch. I'll be the dutch. Let's start over here. I'm just gonna give it a nice little bite. You tasting any Trevor in that? It's a good sandwich. That's what I'm trying to detect at this it's, point. It's well balanced. If the crust was removed entirely. You know that the extra effort that went into that has to mean care. That that's what makes an uncrustable so magical. You love if it's homemade. If it, if it's homemade, it makes me feel empty. Makes you feel empty? Yeah. Because you really like crust. That one? No, I'm saying that sandwich in particular made me feel empty. Oh. Link, mm. did you take the crust off of your sandwiches? Uh, when my mom didn't, yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I was like, yeah. my mom doesn't love me as much today. Mm -hmm. It was very tenuous. That tracked. In okay. grade school. This sandwich is significantly better than that sandwich. I know I'm not supposed to influence you, but. Well, you kind of just did. No, this, you didn't because I already have my answer. This is the, I'm ready. This was a huge difference to me. Three, yep. two, one. This one, the balance of the two flavors was nice. Well, let me tell you something. You guys must really love the taste of Trevor because the one made with love is on Link's side. Hey, so the only time we agree is when we're both wrong. So right, I mean, here, here's this is the bull thing. crap. Either the, love the, is a farce. Two possible conclusions. Number one, love is a farce. Very likely, you can't taste love. That's bull crap. Not scientific. Possibility number two. Seventy-five percent of the time, I can taste hate, and I love hate. Or maybe I just love Trevor. <laughs> Don't we all? I yeah. mean, he's a cute little guy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's a cute little guy. <laughs> all right, according well, to our official results, you cannot taste love. Yeah, so drop that, just drop that whole concept. Forget about it. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Good mythical morning. We're Nick and Lily, and we're in the Lake District, England. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Man, that looked like it might have been a first take because they were both still happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was yeah. beautiful there. Yeah, you know, click the top link to watch <laughs> us match pheromones to the animals they attract in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. We teamed up with our friends at Cloak and created a collection of ultra limited edition apparel and accessories that we call Cloak is Mythical. Shop the collection at cloakbrand.com.